Welcome to this lesson on gratitude. This lesson will explore the cultivation of gratitude through mindfulness practice with the wisdom of others and the science on the human experience. As you prepare to enter this lesson, take a moment to prepare yourself for your study and practice. Download the study and practice guide, the PDF, associated with this lesson. Have a pen and paper on hand to take notes and record your thoughts. Remove distractions from your environment. Once you have prepared your study environment, take a few moments to prepare yourself mentally to benefit from teachings and gratitude. Be still. Breathe. Take three to five cleansing breaths. Draw in deeply through the nose. And slowly exhale, experiencing the opening of your heart and clearing of your mind. Pause and reflect on what you are bringing to your study. What is your awareness of gratitude in your daily experience? What openings have come to you through your exploration of gratitude? When you are ready, proceed to enter our exploration of gratitude, mindfulness practice, and gratitude. In this lesson, we will explore gratitude and mindfulness practice. The intention of this lesson is to develop understanding of mindfulness practice in deepening your awareness of gratitude. The lesson is an opportunity to learn about the place for letting go and acceptance in your development of mindfulness gratitude practice. You will learn understandings of how to apply principles of mindfulness practice to your awareness of gratitude in your life. We will share practices to support you with your awareness of gratitude. Let us begin with our exploration of gratitude in mindfulness practice. Mindfulness has been explained as maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment through a gentle, nurturing lens. Mindfulness also involves acceptance, meaning that we pay attention to our thoughts and feelings without judging them, without believing, for instance, that there's a right or wrong way to think or feel in a given moment. When we practice mindfulness, our thoughts tune into what we're sensing in the present moment rather than rehashing the past or imagining the future. From Greater Good Magazine. Mindfulness practice has roots in Buddhism, most religions also include forms of prayer, meditation, or reflection to calm the mind and bring focus for transformational experience. In his lecture on generosity and gratitude, Donald Rothberg reminds us that the core of Buddhist teachings is to transform us from greed, hatred, and delusion. Through attention to gratitude in our lives, we are better able to transform greed to generosity. We are reminded that gratitude can be a practice that cuts through resentment and polarization. Aversion and hatred can transform into kindness, compassion, connection, and a sense of gratitude. Delusions, not seeing the self clearly, can be relinquished as generosity and gratitude point to interconnection and the wisdom of letting go. We, as a society, tend to underrate gratitude and generosity. As a parent virtue, gratitude summons us to be kind and abundant in giving of one's life and life energy. Teach this triple truth to all, a generous heart, kind speech, and a life of service and compassion 
are the things which renew humanity. The Buddha. Gratitude is a perspective that we work on through our mindfulness practice. If we are open to receiving benefits that come to us, to appreciate them and accept them without trying to change them, our perspective on life can be powerfully transformed by gratitude. In his book, Gratitude, Oliver Stone, author and neurologist, wrote memoirs of his life in his 80s with knowledge his cancer would lead to his imminent death. A few weeks ago, in the country, far from the lights of the city, I saw the entire sky powdered with stars, in Milton's words. It was this celestial splendor that suddenly made me realize how little time, how little life I had left. My sense of the heaven's beauty of eternity was inseparably mixed for me with a sense of transience and death. I have been comforted since I wrote in February about having metatastic cancer by the hundreds of letters I have received, the expressions of love and appreciation and the sense that, despite everything, I may have lived a good and useful life. I remain very glad and grateful for all of this, yet none of it hits me as did that night sky full of stars. Gratitude can be an experience of deep realization that our lives have meaning, that we are loved, and we have shared our gifts in great and simple ways with others. Our gratitude is a universal and splendid deepening of the human experience with infinite possibilities.